2018 paper 2 math uh, which is the construction uh, we have the question which was on question 4 uh, we are told to construct a triangle x y z in which x y is equals to 9 centimeters y z is equals to 7 centimeters and the angle x y z it is equals to 38 so let's get it started for solution we are constructing a triangle okay so first of all we have to analyze uh, the data which we have been given so we have to write the data so we have uh, x y to be equals to 9 centimeters then uh, y y z to be equals to 7 centimeters and we have an angle of x y z to be equals to 38 degree right then from this data which we have obtained we can now construct a triangle okay so first of all you have to follow an uh, alphabet from these figures which have been given you have to follow what comes first in the alphabet so in the alphabet uh, x y comes first before z okay so we are going to measure uh, x y it is 9 centimeters okay it is let's take it here it is 9 centimeters you measure from 0 to 9 okay you measure here from 0 to just a minute I made a mistake you measure uh, nine centimeters from zero so it will be from this point up to this point which is nine centimeters so this is our nine centimeters okay then now we are told that uh so for us to find uh, the other side we have to measure this angle which we have been given so this is our x y okay then here what you have to do you have to measure because we are looking for angle angle y we are looking for angle y so we have to stand where there is the y okay within this protector which we have here so you come here uh, where this line ends that's where you stand with it, your protector then you measure 88 and 88 if you measure it is this is 80 so 88 it is uh, almost 40 here so we are going to put a dot here okay you put a dot here because it is 48 so it is near 40 okay then now you have found that uh, this is the angle 38 now you measure x you measure yz yz we are told that it is 70 centimeters so you measure passing through this point which you have uh, measured with a protector because this is a 38 so you measure seven centimeters from if you want you can start from seven because this is our seven here so now make sure that uh, the line passes uh, where where this uh, where where there is a point of 80 degree okay then this is 70 centimeters this is 70 centimeters okay and now uh, for question for question one we are done now let's move on to question two uh, measure and let the length of x z so z it is here okay so here you join this line and this line to reach where uh, 
y z and z okay then uh, we have to measure x z okay so you come here with your rule then you stand here then you measure with your rule from the point to here where the where z is so i have found that uh, it is uh, 5 5.4 okay this is 5.4 centimeters so this is it so for question two we have found that it is a 5.4 centimeters okay then now let's move on to b okay let's move on to b B, we are told that on your diagram uh, with a triangle X, Y, Z, construct the locus of point within which are 6 centimeters from Y. So 6 centimeters from Y, you have to measure with the, the protractor, okay, or with the compass. You come here, you measure uh, 6 centimeters, okay. 0 up to 6 centimeters. This is our 6 centimeters here. This is a low. Then you measure from 0 up to 6. So this is our 6 centimeters. Then because they're saying from y, so you stand where y is, okay? So you strike an arc here. This is a line you indicate here. Uh, this is a line of uh, six centimeters from y okay then now uh, for b we are done uh, now for for b1 we are done for b1 this is it. b1 okay then now let's move on to b uh, B2. Uh, on your diagram, within a triangle XYZ, construct the locus of point which are equidistant from uh, from XZ and XY. Okay? Then from here, if you can see, for you to find uh, the standing point where you have to stand with your uh, compass, you have to see you have to check the letters which appears the most in which here it is x so we have to stand where x is here with our compass okay because it is a good distance so we can uh, take any measurement from our compass take any measurement then you come here at x at x you strike okay then uh you open it a little bit then you come here at the end of this line then you strike an arc then you come uh, at the end of this point then you strike an arc so okay let's uh, strike an arc so where these are lying uh, this construction and meeting that's where you have to draw the line okay you have to draw the line from x so make sure that the line starts from uh, x okay so we are going to draw this line in which it will pass here okay then we are done with it uh, so this is it you can take it here has it uh, which is the b2 okay then now uh, for C. For C, for C, we are told that at mark clearly with the letter P within a triangle X, within a triangle X, Y, Z, a point which is six centimeters, which is six centimeters, this is six centimeters from Y. And equidistance, equidistance from x, z, and x, y. 
the equidistance which they are saying it is uh, this one from uh, x z and uh, x y so we have to indicate uh, this uh, rate of peak because they are saying it is uh, this point is six, six centimeters from y so this point it is here so p lies here okay p lies here now uh, a point t with a triangle x y z is such that it is distance from y is less than or equal to six centimeters and is great uh, nearer to it is nearer to x z than uh, than than x y okay indicate clearly by shading the region in which t must lie so uh, we have to shade because they are saying at uh, this point uh, it is nearer to x z and six centimeters from y okay and this point it is here so you shade here this is the way uh, this is where t must lie okay this is where t must lie because they are saying a point t within a triangle x y z is that it is distance from x z then from x z then this one here okay indicate clearly by shading the region in which t must lie here y is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to six centimeters this is six centimeters which I have projected here then uh, less than or equal to six centimeters and it is nearer to xz but not to x y so this is where you have to shade Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new update. Thank you. Bye-bye.